Hi everyone, this is Ants. Um, I created a game on the right uh, during a game jam uh, using libgdx, which is a framework uh, using instancing. And I migrated it to uh, Godot Kotlin JVM. So I used uh, the majority of the uh, Java code, like 80% of it. Um, and it's running on the left on the Godot, Godot Kotlin JVM. Uh, and it's in compatibility mode, so it's using GLES3. So they're both using GLES3. They're both at the same resolution. I'm just going to pause these so that um, I don't get the noise from the from the music and the sounds. And it's using 300 instance skeletons. So it's using instancing. Um, and it uses uh, the same uh, size shadow map. Uh, it's using hard shadows on Godot, which is the exact same as... Uh, libgdx um, and the FPS on Godot which is on the left so if you could see my mouse over here it's up over 500 and then on the right it's about 355 so the Godot Java um, JVM uh, is 40% faster um, which is interesting very interesting considering you know everybody say oh libgdx is a framework you get access to the more low level stuff well it's still slower than Godot um, and I'm gonna be doing some analysis of why it's slower I think I know why it's slower and uh, I'll be doing some more analysis in another video so um, all I want to show you right now is the results and I try to basically make ex everything exactly the same. There's a few things that are not the same, like uh, this needs to be two decimal points on the accuracy. But generally, the, the engine of how to create the, the level and all that, it's all the same. Um, yeah, so that's some interesting results. Um, if you're going to use a game in 3D and you need instancing, you might as well use Godot. Godot's instancing has a lot more options. You can actually change to uh, have unique colors per instance. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, there's green here because these guys are uh, walking faster than the ones that are red. Uh, in libgdx, there's other restrictions too that you have. You can only play one animation uh, for all instances. And again, with libgdx, because it's a framework, you could reinvent the wheel and build anything you want, but you have to put in the many, 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 many hours to do that. And uh, with Godot, you don't. Anyways, um, um, look out for my next video on the more of a deep dive. And that's basically it. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care.